In this video, I will go through the main topics this course will cover. This course includes four sections. We start with some preliminaries in which we cover in more detail key concepts in macroeconomics, such as GDP, unemployment, and inflation. For each one of these concepts, we would learn what it means and how to measure it. The second section in this course focuses on the short run, including the goods market, financial markets, economic fluctuations, or the business cycle. We then turn our attention to the medium run, which shall be the third section in this course. Our focus on the medium run will be on equilibrium in the labor market and its impact on altering the short run dynamics. The final section of this course will cover economic growth and its determinants, a concept related to the long run. So the four building blocks of this course based on the time horizon are preliminaries at the short run, the medium run, and the long run. Looking in more detail at these sections, we will cover 10 topics, including the introduction. The second topic focuses on goods markets. We will see what determines the aggregate demand and equilibrium condition in the goods market. What are the main components of aggregate expenditure? We will see that the aggregate demand includes the total expenditures of households, firms, the government, and the rest of the world. That is consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. You will see how equilibrium in the goods market requires that investment equal savings. The third topic covered in this course focuses on financial markets, in which we will discuss the supply and demand for money. What are the main reasons to demand money? How do income and the level of interest rate determine the demand for money in a given economy? What does determine the money market equilibrium? You will see how the equilibrium happens when the demand for money equals money supply. But what determines money supply in the economy? You will learn about the role of the central bank and government in influencing aggregate demand through changing money supply and changing government spending. When should governments spend more or less? Should the central bank increase or decrease the money supply? And so on. The next topic will cover simultaneous equilibrium in both the goods market and financial market. We will use the Keynesian ISLM model which is an excellent analytical tool that help us understand both markets equilibrium conditions. The IS stands for investment savings, the equilibrium condition in the goods market, while the LM represents money supply and demand denoting equilibrium in the financial market. The intersection point between the IS and LM curve shows the interest rate output combination associated with simultaneous equilibrium in both markets. We will use the IS and LM model to analyze the stabilizing effects of monetary and physical policies. In the fifth topic, we will turn to the medium run by studying the labor market. This topic relates to the interaction between demand and supply for labor. What determines the wage level and the unemployment rate? and so on. We will then move on to study the aggregate demand, aggregate supply model, or the ADES model. We will use this model to analyze demand and supply shocks and how physical and monetary policy instruments can deal with these type of shocks. Topic number seven covers the natural rate of unemployment and the Phillips curve showing the relationship between unemployment and inflation rate. Then we will move to study inflation and economic growth. The final topic 
covered in this course includes economic growth and its determinants. On a side note, we will use some mathematics, mainly elementary algebra, and plot lots of diagrams. It would be best if you were confident using graphs and mathematics as they provide powerful analytical tools in macroeconomics. The best way to do this is by practicing. For example, besides watching the lecture videos, you may want to practice plotting different graphs and driving the goods market equilibrium. So after watching a video, you may want to practice for a short while before moving to the next video. I am also happy to help and provide extra support to those who feel they need more help. To conclude this video, this course includes four sections as follows. Preliminaries, focusing on key macro indicators, the short run, including equilibrium in the goods market and financial market, the medium run with the labor market, and the long run focusing on economic growth and its dynamics. Finally, you should practice, practice, and practice until you feel confident with the material. And that's all for this video. See you in the next video.